All right, let's think this over. Was Godzilla a male or a female? After all, the son of Godzilla had to come from somewhere. So, here with a very distinct point of view is Shu. Here's the deal, all right? There are a few Godzillas that have come down the pike. The first Godzilla was the male. The Godzilla that was destroyed ultimately by the Oxygen Destroyer in the original movie, including the footage with Raymond Burr, that was the male Godzilla. From every movie at that point on, it was female. Godzilla vs. The Thing, Godzilla vs. Somebody Else, uh, Return of Godzilla, the 1956 Godzilla movie, the only other one that was made in black and white, that's a female Godzilla. From that point on, up until Godzilla vs. Destroya, 1995, we're going 40 years of female rampaging. That's why Godzilla was so moody. That's why you don't know whether Godzilla was good, Godzilla was bad, Godzilla was kind of ambiguous, why Godzilla was a terrible communicator, why Godzilla would just go on rampages for no reasons. It's all because it was a female Godzilla. So it's all fairly easy to figure out. However, after Godzilla vs. Destroya, Godzilla, the female Godzilla, started to melt down. And as a result of this melting down process, the baby Godzilla eventually overtook the role of the other Godzilla. So now what you have in the later Godzilla movies from beyond that point, the four or five that have been made since Godzilla vs. Destroyer, which is supposed to be one of Godzilla's farewell tours, you have, in essence, baby Godzilla run on the show. So the baby Godzilla is the new Godzilla, the Godzilla that we see in the later versions. So mother and father are both gone. The reason that this is up for debate is, right. how do you re-energize a bleeping, oxygenized Godzilla? Well, your franchise makes money, and then you bring the damn thing back. Right. Or, you could say, well, there have to be two Godzillas. How do you have a son of Godzilla? You can't just have a son of Godzilla. You have to have two to get the son. So, how, where, where was the son? Well, there had to be a father, there had to be a mother, so the father gets off in the first one. So he's not nearly as innovative and sneaky and clever as the female right. who hung around for 40 years. And so the female starts in 56 and, you know, does her business. So it's really in Son of Godzilla, we sort of assume that it's a single father situation, right. but really what it is, it's a single mother situation. You know, Godzilla's gone out, you know, had to wait tables on a eight hour shift, comes home, deals with the little brat, tries to step on its toes to, uh, get it to shoot the real ray as opposed to the smoke rings, you know, has to deal with the bully Gabara, <laughs> you know, that sort of stuff. You know, it's, it's tough. It's tough on a single monster to, you know, make ends meet in the world of Monster Island and, you know, trampling Japan and dealing with little Japanese punk kids all at the same time. You know, they'll have Godzilla back in another 10 years or so. Who knows whether it will be the son of Godzilla, the daughter of Godzilla, the granddaughter of the original Godzilla, that's all up in the air. Now, why? Now, it, it, are there setups in the film, like when the like when the male Godzilla is destroyed and the second one? What's the hint that lets you know that that's a woman? There's no hint. It's me being brilliant. 